Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're going to be talking to you about this bag, which is the Vertex EDC Commuter Sling Bag, and this came to us from the Soft Rep Premium Crate Club. So I'll give you more information at the end of the video about the Soft Rep Crate Club, but let's talk about the bag first. Uh, your measurements, 18 by 13 by six. It is 23 liters as far as your capacity. Uh, this is a sling bag, obviously, so just one, one uh, strap here to carry this. I will tell you that I have used a lot of sling bags in my life, and the two biggest things for me are, number one, uh, if it gets so full that it's kind of sticking out really deep from your back, or number two, if it's sagging away from your back when you're actually carrying it, this thing, no issues whatsoever. This is one of the most comfortable and low profile, you know, resting right up against your back type of sling bags I have ever used. Right up here on the front, you can see we do have a couple loops. What I often do is run a carabiner right through here with my keys right in the front. You can also see we've got the clip here and that is to run an additional strap from your hip up to this to give you basically more um, control so the bag isn't moving as much when you're walking. And here's a quick look at that strap goes up here and if you want to remove it obviously just unclick it and then you can roll it up and it does have a little hook and loop here so you can roll it up and store it down by your hip and it won't stick out or bounce around very controlled down there so i've used this bag for my edc bag for about a month or so and it's worked great it holds my laptop it holds all my gear that i need uh, for work what i want to do now is actually sling it around to my front and show you the different pockets and the capacity that they have now in addition to just the bag you're also dealing with Tactigami, which are hook and loop modular systems so you can hold and organize different gear within the bag. All right, so obviously I've readjusted the camera so you can see more of the bag and less of my face. Anyhow, uh, right here on the front, we've got this loop. You're gonna grab a hold of this and then pull it open and the two zippers down the side are gonna uh, unzip for you quite easily. So you open this up and now you've got your gear inside. What you can see is we've got a hook and loop field. We also have molly webbing and what I've done is Going on this is my uh, Gerber multi-tool it's got a driver set there I've got a sog knife I've got a streamlight flashlight all this stuff organized right here so I've got easy access to it now obviously if you took all this off and you had something with hook and loop boom you could just put it right there if you're in law enforcement military some sort of other uh, first responder perhaps you could also put your ID patch right there so people could see you know when you open this open this um, zippered section up boom right there is your identification Got leather here, good quality zippers. All the zippers have the uh, additional feature that they're gonna keep out uh, a little bit of moisture and also keep out grit and grime from your uh, from getting into your bag. So this is the first pocket, you know, easily open it up like this and when you wanna close it up, just re-zip these. I will also note you have this system up here, which is great for storing, um, you know, gear. You've got hooks like this and I can unhook both of these and I could roll up like a windbreaker, put it in here, rehook these, and now I'm good to go. And it's controlled in this section, close it up, and uh, that allows me to organize my gear quite effectively. You got two other hook and loop panels here, so if you want to put some sort of ID patch there, um, or just morale patch, you could certainly do that as well. Okay, so that's the first pocket. Here's the second section. Unzip this, and you can see when I unzip it, it doesn't flop totally open. It's got gussets here, so it's not going to open and dump all your gear out all over the place. You can see I've got pens, marker, uh, I've got a flashlight in here. There's a pocket here, which you can unzip. There's also a lanyard up in here if you want to store your keys. I've got my little personal RoboCop alarm in there, as well as something to wipe off my, uh, my laptop screen. This entire field here is hook and loop as well. So what you can see I've done here is I've got my Wild Hedgehog Tactical Med Kit here, and I've also got a headlamp wrapped up in some hook and loop, and that's just stuck on there. So, you know, if I wanna grab a hold of any of my gear, I've got it organized in here now, and this has got hook and loop on it. Boom, I can take this out quickly, and I'm ready to go. So you can organize this internally with hook and loop panels, you know, however you wanna set it up, different places down here, you know, if you didn't want to put the pens in up here, however you want to do it, you've got a lot of opportunity in there. All right, on to the next section. Unzip like this. Again, it's not going to flop totally open. you got the gussets there. You can see I've got my laptop here. There is a clip for the laptop to keep it organized. Also in here, I've put a bunch of the Tactigami. And I'll just show you here real quick. 
here's a look at what this, this stuff looks like. And um, this is going to offer you opportunity to organize gear within the bag. And on the back of each one, you're gonna see that you can, you know, there's there's ones for, this is the uh, map map quad, this is your belt adapter panel, and you can, whatever you need, whatever gear you need to organize, whether it's multi-tools, your pistol, mags, whatever it is, Tactagami is gonna work great to do that. Now back to the pocket real quick. On the back side of the pocket, we've got two sections. These are large pockets to store gear in here. So this is where I keep my plugs for my laptop and such. Uh, again, a larger pocket, and then we do have, in the back here, let me get the zipper real quick. Now included with the, uh, with the bag are just kind of hard plastic uh, materials there to give the bag a little more shape and structure. But in this section, you could actually put a, uh, a plate. So that's gonna, you know, obviously be additional protection for you if you're in law enforcement, military, some sort of situation where you need additional protection. And there is another section I'll show you in a moment where there is an additional um, storage compartment for a plate. All right, I've backed the camera up here to show you this last pocket. First thing I wanna do is note this. So this is the zipper section on the last pocket. I've heard people call it the beaver tail before. And so that's down by my right hip. So if I grab that and pull it around to my front, now this is in front of me. And when I open this up, this whole section now is going to drop completely. And you can see I've got my pistol and my mag in here. Let me step back and show you. So this whole section now is offering me protection. So as I mentioned before, there are two, po two portions of the bag where you can put plates. This is one and this is the other. So now you can imagine if I had plates in here and this thing is resting across my chest, I've got my chest and then down you know, midway through my thigh covered and obviously I have access to my weapon and my magazine right here. So here's what that looks like when it's completely dropped down. Again, access to my weapon and my magazine here. I could have a plate in here and a plate in here. Good coverage of those, some of those vital sections you know, where you want protection from your, uh, from your um, plates inside the bag. Now when it comes to this last pocket, you don't have to unzip this completely and have it fold you know, completely down. Again, if this is down kind of in this lower corner, when I unzip this, now it hasn't fallen open, but I still have access to my weapon in here if I want to draw it. But again, if I open it up, if I really give it a good solid yank, this thing is going to most likely, you know, flop down. And you need to adjust your uh, zippers so it's going to do that, you know, according to how you want it set up. If you keep the zipper down the side here, and as you open, you know, boom like this, now it's going to flop open. So you can set it up however you want it, um, but you can see easy access to your weapon right there and this is resting nice and snugly in front of you. I will also note here, you can see this little bump. There's kind of a hard piece of plastic inside here. It's not a handle like you would carry it with, but it does give you access to grab a hold of this and move it around or even when it's in the car to kind of pull it over towards you before you grab the, uh, the actual sling to uh, carry the bag and uh, head off for your day. All right, let's talk about Vertex as a company. I've seen them multiple times at uh, different shows. I've certainly seen their gear online and other people review it. This is my first Vertex bag and you better believe I'm gonna be looking into more of their gear. Uh, sling bags and messenger bags are my preference as far as you know my everyday carry type of bag. So I'll be looking into their messenger bags soon to see what I, uh, to see what I think about them. Let's talk about the Crate Club now from SoftRep. So you've got three different options. You have $26.99 uh, per month, you have $53.99 per month, and obviously at those two different levels, you're gonna get more gear at the 53 versus the $26.99 level. And then you have a quarterly premium Crate Club, which is $399.99. And for all those, if you pay additionally like a year in advance, you're gonna get some savings. But $399.99 per quarter, and you're gonna get this type of gear. So let me roll in some images here so you can actually see what you get in this quarterly club so in addition to this bag you get the Tactagami uh, and then you get a bunch of other gear you got these uh, boot laces you get a knife and you also get some uh, gear for cleaning your um, your weapons so you know all that for $399.99 and you're, every quarter you're gonna get this high-end gear um, so again Vertex great quality bag I've heard great things about them over the years having used this now I can see why people like uh, these bags so much. As far as the Crate Club, you've got those different levels uh, depending on what you're willing to pay, what you're interested in paying, what kind of gear you want. And then um, as far as picking out the actual gear, let me just roll in some photos here and of some names you'll probably rec recognize. So I met Brandon and Drew actually out at SHOT Show 2017. Talked to both of them for a brief amount of time. Uh, but you've got guys who've actually been out in the field, been deployed, been working in various agencies and you know know the gear that they like and the gear they don't like. And those are the guys who are picking out the gear for you every single month. 
So what you can count on from me is that every quarter they're gonna be sending me one of their premium crates and I'll be unboxing it and showing you the gear. Just wanted to give you a little taste this month about you know the main piece of gear, which is this Vertex sling bag and then the included Tactagami as well. Now obviously this is not for everybody, but what I can tell you is having seen this one and at least one, maybe two other uh, premium crates the quality of the gear is excellent. This is not just some junk they've thrown in, you know, that totals up to 399 MSRP. They've really made great selections about the uh, about the gear. I think the other one I can remember off the top of my head is a med kit from Wild Hedgehog Tactical, and the gear in there is just top rate, you know. So you have a full rundown for any major major medical situation. And I've actually got a video of that med kit, so at the end of this video, I'll put a link so you can check that video out as well. Now I've only had a chance to look at a few of these premium crate clubs, but at this point I'm very impressed with the gear they pick. You know, sometimes you, uh, you have these monthly subscription boxes and it seems like they just have fillers for the gear, but particularly when it comes to the premium level, um, I've been very impressed with what these guys have, uh, have sent along. Um, I can't speak to all the different levels that SoftRap uh, offers because I haven't seen all the different levels of the boxes, but if the Premium Crate Club gives you a little taste of the type of gear they're selecting, I've been really happy with the ones I have actually seen so far. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to checking out other ones in the upcoming future. And uh, SoftRap's actually going to be out here in my neighborhood Sounds like pretty soon, and they're going to be shooting video at the Sig Sauer training range. So we'll see if I can work something out and get over there, maybe get some video, chat with them a little bit, and uh, get to know those guys a little bit better. Thanks as always for checking out the videos. I've got a couple more videos right here queued up for you, so you can check those out. And um, as always, if you haven't subscribed to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube, please do so. Click that little red subscribe button, and then click the bell right near it so you can get updates when new videos come out. We're on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr as well. And more videos always coming soon. Take care, guys.